Greetings guys and girls and fellow gamers, my name is Games for Kicks and welcome to Undead Horde. Undead Horde is a game in the vein of right click to necromance. It's a lot of fun, you raise the dead, you create a huge undead army, you lose some guys in battle, you replenish them with more undead, you can unlock more bigger mobs that you can raise from the undead and so on and so on. You also can level up and there's a skill system kind of in it. You can earn cards that you can apply to yourself, I suppose, or to your game that will give you bigger armies, that give you stronger weapons. And there's weapons and items in the game as well that you dro that drop that you can pick up and apply to your character. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, we're gonna have a look at the game. I hope you guys are gonna have a good time with the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the ball to support the channel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. Left click to necromance. This land shall soon be mine. All right, cryptic beginnings. A cavalier chicken has woken an ancient evil trap by powerful magic for countless millennia. The time has finally come to reclaim the world for the undead. <laughs> yes, the evil laughter is missing. So you move your mouse and whatever way, wherever you have your pointer. Oh, jep, jep. That's where it looks. So let's kill the chicken. Reanimate the chicken. So you hold R and you raise anything Ride that's dead around bay. you, which is really awesome. The chicken is now your undead minion. The chicken is dead. Long, <laughs> long unlive the chicken. Okay. So it wants me to use the chicken now. So with space, you Strike can send forth now. your army. And they attack anything in their path. You can recall the chicken Gather again by round. pressing space again. Apparently you can play it also with the controller or left stick to move. Very good. I like it. Forward. And that's literally all the controls Gather you will ever here. need. Now let's talk to this dude. McChick. Rise and shine, chosen one. The humans put a skeletons in these cages when they trapped you in that urn. Good for us. They seem to have forgotten what was inside. To start our conquest, we must free the Crypt Keeper. He's held nearby. Find him to start the revolution. Okay, let's do that. Excellent. All right, let's raise our first army. Nice. Command cup. The purple segment rings represent your command cup. Each unit is a segment and you can only command as many units as fit inside the ring. So this is the outer purple ring you see here. And we also have a weapon equipped over here in our inventory and we have mana. So in the moment we have nothing that uses mana so we're okay. But if we press I to see at our, to look at our inventory, I know my face is partially over it, but that's okay. It's, it's not a bad face, so I, I, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can sell your items um, and then you can buy things with the money. I haven't actually gotten to the point where I really needed to do anything with the money, but you can sell items and you find a lot of items. So far, I only found weapons myself, the little bit I played, but there's a lot of items apparently that you can see here. Like um, this looks like some kind of, I don't know, something you put around your neck or something. Oh, yes. Let's raise more dead. You shall serve me well. Let's set them forth. Them down. Nice. And then we, get, we can here. also hit everything with the sword ourselves. You can see we cause damage, so we can help our guys out. So they don't just die in vain. Oh, look at that. We have villagers. Attack. Let's attack. There we go. Nice. And let's raise more dead. Arise, my minions. Nice. Free the Crypt Keeper. Let's keep going. Come Follow on, guys. My lead. Oh, here's the Crypt Keeper. Nice. Oh, thank Lucifer you came. That cage was hugely uncomfortable. Let's get to Hades out of here. So you can see Deep this is a huge map. Soon. And this seems to be kind of your headquarters. So if you press M, you can see a map. Yeah, th so this here is your crypt or whatever, which seems to be where everything is taking place. And then you just follow the map along and try to complete it, I suppose, until you get to the end or to the citadel. I don't know if there's any more HQs in between, but we always seem to be going back here because that is where you can get more quests, you can replenish your mana, you can also activate undead armies um, by default that you can go and set off into your journey. So because obviously I have nothing now and I would die if 20 villagers attack me. So in the moment, all we have is the angry peasant who has a command value of 7, DPS 11, attack speed 1, hit points 100, 
or we can get the peasant which is a humanoid as well command value 7 dps 10 attack speed but he has more health a little bit less damage but more health so i would say we go as high as damage possible and um, we get those guys but first talk to the crypt keeper Good, now we can start the uprising. The living will pay for their foul deeds. Heal yourself and then raise for some undead peasants by using the summoning statues. Very nice. So as you can see here, we have things here that we could raise like a guardsman, but we actually have to kill 30 guardsmen before we can summon them from the undead here by default to the statues. Now, as far as I know, whatever you kill on the field, you can raise. But when you're here and you're headquarters you can't raise them until you killed 30 of them so we already started oh we already started killing what was that a chicken yes we have to have an army of chicken we have to kill every single chicken out there okay heal yourself with the pool of the undead so this guy here oh it heals us okay i told it replenishes our mana it shows you what i know summon undead peasants i think i want to just go with literally angry peasants and that's it each unit type has a unique command value. The more powerful the unit, the higher its command value. Okay, so I'm assuming, let me see, we have three, four of them. One, two, three, four. Okay. Is that it? Are we capped? No, we still can get more. Excellent. Beautiful. Yeah, we're full. Now we have loads of minions. Now there's a beautiful little option here as well. If you're going to options and you go into gameplay, you have a streamer overlay. I actually like that quite a lot. And um, because the streamer overlay shows you on the bottom your current health value and your DPS value, which is awesome. So I don't know why that is a streamer overlay. I have no idea. Let's talk to the Crypt Keeper. Well done. Contact my brother when you reach the surface. Good luck on your conquest. Cryptic beginnings. 50 gold and 150 experience. The living must pay for what they did. Annihilation of Kinamo. The village of Kinamo shall be our first target. Oh, yeah. There we go. Talk to Horner in Kinamo. A new land for the taking. Oh, yeah. So let's see. We have a little minimap down here that shows you kind of where you are. And it shows us that we have a quest here. Now, these gates we can't open yet. The gates are locked. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we don't want to attack all of them at once. So we have to be careful because human or not, they are quite strong. Hello, Orkin. The Crypt Keeper's imprisonment must be avenged. Destroy the pathetic village to let the living know we're back in business. Okay, let's do it. I would say let's go down here first and let's attack this house. Forward. Nice. And there's the villagers. There we go. Nice. Let's Come attack them. Attack. Now we're going to help the guys out. Luckily, you can't hit your own guys, which is really awesome. So you can just keep hitting away and helping them out. You can see on the top left how our purple lines keep going down. Oh, claiming areas. To claim an area, destroy all buildings marked with yellow on the map and slay all living. Buildings have a red bar indicating health. Many buildings produce enemies. The blue pie indicator tells you about the production status. So you can see here, these guys here. Come here. Join. The There's a new army coming out now. now any second. Oh, they're coming out now. They're coming out now. No. Are we going to destroy it before they come out? I think so. Yes. Oh, we got a sword. Nice. Is that... Oh, lovely. You have just found a new item. You can manage your items in your inventory and choose which ones to use at any time. Access your inventory. So when we access our inventory, the game is paused, which is really awesome. And we can see here that uh, this weapon is slightly weaker. You can see on the left side the stats, and on the right side you can see the comparative stats, which basically, if equipped, we lose 2 DPS uh, damage per hit. So we're going to sell this one. Left click and sell. There you go. I have no idea what to do with the gold. But anyway, can we do anything with those farms? No. Okay, Gather let's collect. Round. Okay, we have to wait until they split. There we go. Slay the living. So let's really quickly kill a few guys. There we go. Nice. Let's raise them from the dead. You shall serve me. Nice. Lovely. Now, what is this? Okay, there's nothing to do. I think it heals us. 
Follow oh, me. Oh, we should have we should have attacked the building before they spawned. So in the beginning, obviously, it's all very easy. It gets very tactical later on, I would assume. Oh, we have 17 people left. Let's raise them from the dead. And let's destroy the building. Well, oh, no, 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 no. Quickly, quickly, because I don't want a new army. I think I might actually lose my guys. We're down to 11. There we go. Nice. Yes. And we're back to what? Oh, plus 10? Okay. 8, 7. Oh, that's the villagers. Okay. There we go. Nice. Join the horde. Okay. So let's see. What else do we have? There Gather we go. Here. Destroy them. Let's get this building as well. The oh, there's a weapon. Know my wrath. Oh, we have to pick up the gold. Nice. Let's see what we have here. Is this weapon any better? It is. Yes. So we just double click it, equip it, and we can sell that. Gather Come on, guys. Round. Okay, we need to be careful. We need to Charge. get these guys. Now, they can attack me as well, of course. Oh, level two reached. Nice. You've just gained your first level. Congratulations. After you gain a level, you can choose a card for this level. To access level up menus, press tab. We're going to do that in a second. First, we're going to kill everybody. And as well, let me just raise these guys. You shall serve me. Follow me. There we go. Let's attack the house. Come on, guys, before they come out. Is there any more dead here to raise? No. Nice. Okay. Oh, lovely. A deed. And another weapon. Nice. So let's level up for a second. So this card increases your command cap. This card increases your mana cap. Now, we don't really have to worry about mana at the moment. This card increases your health most. We don't really have an issue with health at the moment. So I think the best thing to do is that we still get plus 67 health. We still increase our damage and our command goes up by 44, which is awesome. So we can get more units, which is great. So let's choose that. Excellent. So I like that little card system. What is this water? Oh, that is mana I'm collecting. I see. I think over here I can actually heal. Let me just quickly check that. Follow my lead. I think this is to heal. Yes, it is. It doesn't heal my minions, though. It only heals myself. My quest for domination. Nice work. You can feel the undead vibes already. The commander is held captive at the wall south from here. You should get the deed to him. So let's see what the deed is. Oh, we got loads of experience. Look at that. Crimson Tunnels. The conquer To conquer the world, we need the ancient Vien Point. Vien? Vine Point? Vien Point? Few Point Network? It was grown thousands of years ago. Oh, Vine Network. Uh, but the living rendered it unusable when they last defeated us. Okay. So let's go. Let me just quickly see what we have in our inventory. We have a better weapon. Plus 16. Whoa. And we have this guy here, which is a deed. Take the deed to the commander in the crypt for a reward. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. We shall devour these lives. So if you want to check where you are, let's look at the map. So this is us, the little icon that goes, ah! and uh, we have to find sticks. Okay. On oh, the river stinks. Let's see what we have here. Oh, we left the map. Okay, that wasn't good. I came from there, Dingus. Doofus McDingus. Let's go down. There you go. What is this? Sticks. I once maintained the vine, po the vine Point network, but the living stole the pump. A massive enchanted heart of a giant. The commander might be able to help us if you can free him. Well, okay. We only do 147 damage, but we have a lot of HP, which is good. Oh, is that a treasure chest? Ooh, nice. Ooh, look at that. Nice. What did we get? Oh, look at that. Steel. It's 97 damage. What is this? So this one does a little bit less damage. Well, it does 27 damage less per hit. But it is faster. And it has a critical chance. This one does mana steal? Okay, I think we're going to start going with this one. I'm not going to sell anything just yet, I suppose. 
Okay, if we look at the map, we can go to the right or we can go to the left. Let's go to the left first. And there's a village down there as well. Let's go. Oh, we can't. Okay. So we have to go to the right. Stay Break right. them down. Nice. We're doing a lot of damage as well. Love it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're actually very short on people. Yes. Whoa. Did you see our purple line? It was very low there for a little second. Oh, we have nobody there. Come on. Yes. There we go. Rise and obey. Gather my minions. Come on, let's get the building down. You shall serve me well. There we go, nice. Gather attack, my shall burn Yes, the lands we got it. Beautiful. Arise, my minions. So we have a good full circle right now, which is really, really good. This is an army house, so we should probably kill this first. Them down. There we go. Let's get a few more souls. You shall serve me well. Nice. Oh, that was beautiful. That went off without a hinge. Now, let's see if that is an upgrade or not. Oh, it does a little bit more damage, but I actually do like... Um, it does actually less damage per hit. So, that's very important. Come here. Yeah, we don't need to heal. Let's go into the crypt. These lands shall be ours soon. Commander's prison. So let's step on this. Excellent. Now, oh yes. Okay, let's kill them all. Arise. Beautiful. Yes. Rise, my minions. Fight them down. Nice. My cooldown is up. There we go. Arise, my minions. Okay, so Follow let's see what else lead. we have here. Skellies. Skellis. Get busy living or get busy dying. Okay, so he doesn't really have anything interesting to say. What, what does he have to say? Oh, he is dead. Okay. Anything over here? Yes, some barrels. Might get money. Very good. Is anything else over here? Is dead Fresner? What? Dead Fresn. It's funny, on the outside I was an honest man, straight as an arrow. I had to come to prison to be a croc. Ha ha ha! Oh, that's funny. Oh, 340 PS! How awesome Charge. is that? That is sweet! We're doing a lot of damage here. Rise and obey. Okay, we can't get into there. Come on, Gather guys. Round forward. Okay, I get the archers. Nice. Axman statue unlocked. What? Yes! Oh, that's the statue. Units. So we can get the, the axeman when we go back to the base. That is awesome. Follow my lead. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, nice. At last, someone is getting things done. I've been in this cage for centuries and managed to hide this pump before they captured me. Take it to Sticks and meet me in the crypt later. Okay, we're building. I'm telling you, we're building the army. We are releasing all the big bosses. I nearly said the big bozos. The big bosses. And we're gonna be bringing down hell on Earth. There's a treasure. There is a treasure. Look at all these blues. Okay, so let's see what we have. We have a Skite of the Shepherd. We have a Warlock's Club, though. Yeah, it's not better. It's not better. Oh, it's minus 6% race duration. Oh, that's pretty good, but it does minus 60 per hit. Okay, let's sell it, because it's 216. Oh, we got the heart. A Vine Point Pump. 
A pump to run the global vine point network that allows quick travel between far away uh, vine points. Nice. That is sweet. Okay, we can sell that as well. Actually, I'm pretty happy with what I got, so I'm going to sell all of it. Very good. I like it. So let's go back out. Yeah, these guys are just there to talk to. There's nothing important. We don't need to release them or can release them. So let's get out. Do I need a heal? Yeah, why not? It's gone now. Can't use it again. Now let's talk to Sticks and see what we have to do next. All right, let's get the blood flowing. Test drive the network by traveling to the crypt. The commander will certainly be interested in that deed you got. Oh, sweet. Let's do that. Vine points travel. You can travel to locations where you've opened a vine point. The locations are marked with. Okay, I'm sorry if I mispronounce it, okay, because it must get annoying for you if, 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 if it bothers you that much, like, if, uh, but I, I don't know any better. World stats. Oh, look at that. Areas claimed 4 out of 33, secrets found 4 out of 36, living killed, undead raised. Nice. And then we have, oh, more stats. Buildings raised, quests completed. Sweet. Um. Oh, yeah. There we go, look at that, the Crypt of the Necromancer. You can get rid of unwanted units by using the sacrificial altar in the crypt. Okay, so let's do that. Can we, where's the sacrificial altar? Where is it? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I think it's over there in the wall. I'm looking at the minimap over there. There's something in the top left here. There we go. Oh, you just click on it, okay. Unsubscribe unwanted undead here. <laughs> okay, look at this. We got an Axeman, which has a command value of 9, but it does 20 DPS. So, ooh, what is that? We're nearly there. I was unlocking that. So, command value of 9 means we can't have as many units, obviously, as that, because we have a total value of 144. I see. So, if we buy them... There you go. The cells are slightly bigger. That's 10 of them. That's a total of 200 DPS. So we have 44 left. So let's get... Um, let's get more angry peasants. There we go. Excellent. So we got a total of 277 DPS. I wonder if we could have taken just the other ones and would have done more damage. I don't know. But we have a lot of health. That is awesome. Okay, let's go to the commander. My quest for domination advances nicely done i've prepared a powerful item for you oh i like it what did you what did you, what did you prepare a crimson tunnels oh quest completed crimson tunnels going south the ancient evil must find its way south to continue the conquest a wall stands in his way and the key is being held by a dangerous adversary okay i think we gotta do that one and then we gotta call it quits look at this this is now a man i think yeah baby look at that and it takes a while to fill up again there you go it's mana over time so having that club that actually steals mana is pretty awesome i think look at that steals mana and this here cast a fireball set enemies on fire dealing 104 damage uh, over four seconds mana capacity 42 it costs 99 mana so we definitely want to get the next card possibly to enhance our mana pool we're nearly there so let's go where do we have to go let's go to the portal Let's go back to Sticks. Let's talk to Sticks. I see the commander has awarded you with the Hellfire Stick. It seems you have the mana to use it. Go ahead and try it out. There you go. Excellent. Hot stuff. Now go and kill John. He knows nothing, but it's a dangerous adversary and holds the key to the wall. Okay, let's do it. Let's go kill John. Luckily, we got our mana back. Forward. Oh, your mana regenerates automatically, but you can accelerate it by collecting mana orbs. Collect the orbs by moving near them. Okay. Oh, look at that. This actually is an AoE. Nice. Oh, that is awesome. And obey. Yes! 
Oh, we have the jump statue unlocked. Nice. We got the key. Oh, we got loads of weapons here. Okay, things are getting a bit confusing now. Guys, follow me. Charge. Okay, guys. Seriously? Okay, let's raise John. You shall serve me well. Nice. Look at that. There we have little John. Burn them down. Oh, I thought I lost half my army. There's loads of people up there. Nice. We have a named one, which is awesome. Okay, let's raise a couple of more. Rise and obey. Oh, look at that. John's taken up a huge amount of space. Attack my minions. The living shall know my wrath. There we go. Burn them down. Oh, nice. Skite. Oh, you can sell items in your inventory to free up space and gain some extra gold. Okay, so let's do this right now. Oh, we have a key. And we have a sword, which does 10 more damage. But we're going to sell that. 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 Ooh. It does more unit damage. Build. Oh, it does more damage to buildings. Yeah, we're definitely going to use that while we are on... Well, we still have to destroy buildings. Rise and obey. Come here. There we go. Oh, look at that. Lovely. It does a lot of damage. Nice. It's a very slow weapon, but it does a lot of damage. Okay, I think we got everything covered here. So let's go over to Sticks and free him. Another step towards total Very good. You can now travel completed. further south. Let me improve that stick a bit to give it some more oomph. Oh, I like it. What are you going to do to it? Level three. And we got a new stick. Oh, it does now 136 damage, but it also costs 110 mana. So let's tap it out and let's get some mana, baby. So we get the magician because it gives us the most mana. It still gives us a little bit more commands. All right, let's take this one here. <laughs> Lovely. Look at that. We have loads of mana now. Pretty sweet. Are we going to go south now? There's a healing pool. Let's see if we can use it again. I know we already used it. Yes, it refills. Very nice. Very good. I like it. So let's go south and finish the map. And then we're going to finish this game. Can we go south? Yes. Alvin merchants. The Alvin area has been infested with humans and they're holding our kins undead captive. Setting them free will be our next goal. Nice. I have a feeling merchant means that we're going to be able to spend our money. Okay, so I'm going to go and attack this building here. There we go. There we go. Yes! We got the bow man. Charge. Oh, they came out of the t castle, uh, out of the building, just as we attacked. Okay, quick, 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 quick. Arise. Oh, no, there's another building. We shall burn the lands of the living. There we go. Nice. Oh, loads of bodies. Let's attack Come this one. Here, attack my minions. The living shall know my wrath. Yes. Beautiful. We shall burn the lands of the living. Nice. Okay. Now this building here. Oh, area five of... Th oh, nice. Oh, we have another deed. So each of these areas gives us a deed. That's pretty cool. Come here. So where to now? We're gonna leave? Find Skelling in Alvin Forest. How do we know if this is Alvin Forest? Well, we're just gonna have to go. For the taking. Let me see. Al yeah, we are in Alvin Forest. Okay. I'm gonna leave it here, guys. 
and we're gonna continue next time thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did remember to kick that like button in the balls and i hope to see you guys in the next video and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button and see you guys next time until then as always feel spaß and happy gaming god help her you you are the embodiment of evil <laughs> don't i punish thee go back to whence you cometh from i will fight you to death but maybe later with my paladin brother so you gotta run oh you chicken yes we got chicken yes chicken raise an army of chicks baby oh yeah evil chicken evil chicken okay let's go to the portal and see if we can go home nice <laughs> oh there's a skelly Safe Vesa and Hilda, our friendly merchants. You should probably avoid those towers behind me. If the towers won't chew you up, the monstrosities behind them will. Ooh. 